hello guys welcome back to our channel smart guru so today i am going to explain about on how to use a printer so here we have a hp digit all in one printer so where we can print scan and copy so let me first explain about the exterior look of this printer so at the top of this printer we have the scanner so where we can scan the documents so behind this we have a panel here where we can store our documents store our papers So the back of this printer we are provided with a USB cable where we can connect it to our PC or a desktop in case if we are scanning any documents or printing any documents. So we have a 240 watt charger. So here we are provided with a panel where the printed document stays here and we can even extend this panel if you want and so in case our document doesn't fall down. And this is the place where the printing takes place. And here we can store our both color and black and white cartridges. To print or to print or scan a document, it, it includes downloading a software. So for the 2130 series printers, we should have a HP Smart App or a HP Support Assistant app. So now let's discuss about the requirements for using the app. So this requires a compatible mobile device or desktop or a PC. So in case if you are mo using a, a mobile device, it should be uh, an Android version 7.0 or later. In case if you are using any Apple devices, the Apple OS iOS version should be 13 or later. So if you are using any desktop or a PC, so the, the version should be Windows 10 or any later versions. So guys, before entering to the app, let's discuss about on how to take a Xerox of a sample document because taking Xerox does not require the app. So here we are provided with two buttons. One is black and white Xerox and one other is color Xerox. So I have a sample document here. So let's test it. So I have a sample document here. So let's take so let's take a color Xerox and a black and white Xerox. So now let's keep the document in the scanner. And let's first try a black and white Xerox. So guys this is a black and white Xerox and so now let's try a color Xerox. So now let's press the color Xerox button. So guys here we have color Xerox and behind this we have a black and white Xerox. So the printing quality is very good and I recommend for using this HP Digit 2131 printer. So guys now let's get back to the app. So, where, so first we need to connect the USB cable to a print to a PC or a desktop. So guys once after installing the required software HP Smart or HP Support Assistant, so let's go into the app and add our printer. So I install HP Smart.
so guys once when we are in the app we should add our printer so let's click the add printer button here so once while connecting to the printer we should make sure that our printer is switched on and it's fully powered and if we are not seeing a printer here right here then let's re we can uh, refresh it refresh this website or we can uh, set up a new printer button so once after clicking the new uh, setup up a new printer button so we have three options here one is wireless and ethernet and usb so here we can uh, select the required one so what my recommend uh, my i recommend wireless so we can connect to any device like a phone or a desktop we can through and we can print through wi-fi so after uh, after continue and we can uh, press the continue button and here we can select we should uh, agree to all the terms and press the continue button so guys once after setting our printer we can see our printer's series name and we can uh, check it uh, whether it is offline or uh, online and here we can check out the estimated supply levels of both cartridges black and white and color cartridge so we have almost eight features right here get supply scan shortcuts printables print photos print documents and printer settings so in this video now i am going to explain all the features that we have in this app so the first feature that we are looking at is get supplies option so once we click this option it directly leads us into hp store where we can find great deals and uh, for cartridges and the next feature uh, we are discussing is scanning option so this feature allows us to scan the documents and here we can import any document such as pdf or word files and we also have a camera button here so where we can take a photo and edit so in this feature we have many options to edit so here the detect edges option allows us to detect the edges and uh, scan the document till the pair till the uh, with the size of the document and here we can select our presets while scanning with, uh, with a photo or a document and we can also select the scan area such as a4 sheet letter and we can also use entire scan area so i am selecting a4 sheet and we can select the output like a color or gray option and coming back to the resolution we have five types of resolution here one is 75 dpi 150 dpi 300 dpi 600 dpi and 1200 dpi so guys i recommend for using 300 dpi so coming back to the resolution option so let's uh, take a basic document and see what resolution is best so guys here I have, I have a sample document where we can scan and test which resolution is best so guys let's first try 75 dpi resolution once when we select our required desired resolution we can uh, click the scanning option here so guys we can observe that the 75 dpi gets scanned in just 5 seconds so guys this is the scan document we, uh, where we use 75 dpi resolution and guys we can observe here that some text is not properly scanned and the uh, paper which we kept is like uh, somewhat tilted 
and we don't have the color texture here so guys so guys now let's try 150 dpi option as you can see here 150 dpi takes almost two minutes for scanning here so guys this is a scan document which we used 150 dpi for scanning this document guys so this is better than 75 dpi and the text is good and the color texture is a somewhat awkward so guys now i recommend for using 300 dpi so guys let's compare all the resolutions first so guys now we can see that 300 dpi as a scanning takes almost three to four minutes for scanning a one whole page so guys now we are saying 1200 dpi scanning so this scanning takes almost 10 5 to 10 minutes for scanning a whole page of the document so this is a very time consuming process but the resolution is like 4k and once after getting the uh, once after scanning the whole page let's compare the results with other resolutions so guys i have made a document of all the five resolutions of 300 dpi 150 dpi 75 dpi and 600 dpi and 1200 dpi so the first one that we are looking at is 75 dpi so we can observe that the te text doesn't get scanned properly as the document gets scanned in just 10 seconds and the color texture is also not good so let's now come back to the 150 dpi so 150, 150 dpi is somewhat better than 75 dpi where the text gets scanned properly but we can see that the color texture doesn't get scanned properly but this process 150 dpi process takes almost two minutes to get scan a whole page so next one that we are saying is 300 dpi so 300 dpi takes uh, takes a time on about two to three minutes and we can see here that the text is scanned properly and the document uh, is not tilted and the color texture is also very good so now let's go into the 600 dpi so 600 dpi is also very good and has a good clarity and a very good texture but this is a very time consuming process it almost takes about five to six minutes so now let's go into 1200 dpi so this has a 4k resolution and this is very amazing but this process takes almost about seven to eight minutes so it's very time consuming but the texture is very good and very amazing so guys i recommend 300 dpi for using for scanning as it takes less time for scanning and gives a good texture and a good clarity so the next feature that we are going to discuss uh, is shortcuts feature so in this feature the we can create a shortcut where the scanned documents and the printed documents get saved for example uh, we can click uh, we can add a shortcut where all the documents get saved into the google drive or we can uh, make all the documents to print in a and uh, print or save in an email and so guys the next feature that we are going to discuss is printables so this uh, after clicking this button this allows us to go into a printables website so in this website hp has provided uh, many templates and uh, many and many videos with learning worksheets so this is a very awesome and good website to try out So guys here we have many templates and we have some fun games and activities and we, uh, we have many printables here like uh, inspiring ocean activities 
coloring fun for kids uh, and we have some birthday uh, cards caraps and some greeting cards and some good business worksheets and sustainable activities and we also have some collections here where uh, we have uh, printables for cards animals signs birthday calendars crafts and art therapy and much more so we can visit this website to uh, get many uh, such kinds of printables and we also have some printables here with some uh, good worksheets and some relief stress designs so this website this website helps us uh, getting uh, printables so guys the next feature is print documents so once we click this print documents uh, option we get a dialog box here so we should just click ok and and after that we get a folder we get a file explorer dialog box here so we can select any document such as pdf outlook or any word uh, word documents to print and the next one that we have here is help and support option so we uh, we can uh, click this option if you have any doubts or it to uh, arise any queries and the next option is print photos so once we click this option a uh, file explorer dialog box gets open so we can uh, print any uh, our desired photos so let me select uh, the jpeg and yeah. so guys now let's select a picture and see how the how it look so i am trying to print a smart groove template so we can select everything here so i have selected a4 sheet and we can crop or shrink to fit so guys after uh, uh, clicking the settings options after changing the settings and let's try to print this photo So guys our photo is printed and I think we need to select the landscape option because I have selected portrait option but the texture is very good and the printing quality is also very good. And this is the new channel banner. And guys this is our new channel banner. And some text did not get a printed properly so because I selected portrait option instead of landscape and guys the last feature that we are going to discuss is printer settings so after clicking this option we will be able to see the model name and some network installation status model names name and serial number product number and all those form version and TP number So guys, thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, please like, share and subscribe our channel Smart Group. So guys, our next video is unboxing Vivo X60 mobile with co-engineered with Zeiss.